Hello my friends, basic routines from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, I'm a researcher and I'm entomologist and I'm a researcher working at the Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. But by the way, today is weekend, but this is the first day of spring, March the 1st, 2015, right? And my story about, not only about spring, but about insects, because that's entomological story about insects in supermarket. Not in kitchen, yes, I'm in kitchen here, but I just came from supermarket. I'm tired list, but I bought something very tasty, by the way, and I also collected someone here in this can. Well, in this glass. I put four butterflies. Well, you can recognize four very large butterflies. Yes, as entomologist, it's a very good idea to come to a supermarket and you should have just some, maybe plastic, small or very, not very small, you like, tubes or just a glass, so you can collect something. I collected this butterfly. Actually, there's a moth. Well, then this is a dangerous pest, which is eating different, different foods, food in a story. Well, in a supermarket, this moth eat a lot of different substances. And by the way, what's the name? I just open, open the textbook. Well, so I can tell you that, for instance, first of all, if you are in a kitchen, in a kitchen usually this moth is a rare case, well, but in kitchen usually you can find another very tiny moth, because this moth about 10 millimeters and just a gray coloration, just not very pleasant, not very surprisingly colored moth, but in kitchen usually you can collect just a slightly light brown moth and size about 7-8 millimeters and so just quite a br colorful, by the way, but this is Indian meal moth, or just Plodia interpultale. Well, what about your food stuff? It's, it can be different stuff, vegetable origin, it can be oil cake, oil seeds, soya beans, cocoa beans, chocolate, spices, pulses, even just some pharmaceutical drugs as well. So food is absolutely different, of course, flour and everything just dry which could be in your kitchen in your story but this one named this is a different one and that's not a plodia interpultella that's i just already seen it well this is mediterranean flower moth this is a festia cuchniella when i found it in supermarket this moth the flowering just flying everywhere around, just around where near the flower. Some it was a lot of uh, big hands were flowers, so I collected four moths moss and put them all together in my tube, in plastic, plastic tube. Well, you can recognize that there is uh, a lot of food here on my kitchen table. So there is no hunger in Ukraine, fortunately, at the present time. Uh, um, first day of uh, March, it's expensive, it's going to be more expensive, prices are rising for everything, for apples, for cakes, just for oil, for chocolate bars, for lemons, well, for these chocolates, for chicken eggs, by the way, for, for soap, well, for all this shampoo, for milk, prices are rising but still it's available for cheese well you can recognize oh just you can see this is a bread uh, smells so nice so tasty and what's about this moth well this is mediterranean flower moth and what's about food stuff food stuff absolutely different just i can mention it this is a flower this is this is these are cereals oatmeal rice maize it can be pasta, it can be biscuits, cakes, nuts, different vegetable products. Even it can be even in, inside your collection, it can be even dried insects. Well, 
to this dangerous pest, this Mediterranean flower moth can eat everything. Of course, it's not a moth eating all of this your stuff, but caterpillars. Moth is laying eggs on some food stuff. Can lay eggs on dried bread, or on flour, maybe on dry uh, fruits, dried vegetables, even on dry pepper, or just even just on, on chocolates, well, if you have it in a story and you just forgot about it. So caterpillars will appear from eggs and will be developing during, you know, a certain period of time, at least t uh, 12, 14 days, and then we will pupate and from pupa will hatch moth. And then again, females will lay eggs and just the way you will give birth, to caterpillars. Caterpillars were pests and they eat different food stuff in a kitchen, in a supermarket. So this is a pest. Flower, Mediterranean flower, moth. A thirsty kuchniela. And by the way, in your kitchen some moths are coming from where? From outside, from your neighbors, or maybe from outside through your kitchen, or maybe through your entrance door. So some moths like Moth, another moth type of moth, for instance, it can be some common cloth moth, for instance, can be Tiniola, Bisiliella, dangerous moth and eating different fibers with chemical fibers or just actually tissues. So very widely spread, well, infestation can be very high even in museums or in other case bearing cloves moths they also eat in different fibers can be eating some fibers in birds nests so they can come from outside they eat in wool in cloves carpets in curtains they can eat fur or fevers well so all of these materials can be eaten by caterpillars of case bearing cloves moths that's another type of pest which are coming through your entrance door. So be careful with your clothes. Close your entrance door carefully and of course check your clothes and just use different insecticides to prevent the infestation of your clothes with these dangerous pests, with these moths. And of course they will not lay eggs and any caterpillars will not appear on your clothes. Or no pest will come through your window from kitchen. Or you will not bring it actually from supermarket if you have a lot of food in your store so you will bring maybe this food with eggs or these caterpillars because I put them just here in this small tube and they immediately laid eggs here inside the tube so that's the same case if you will buy just just one kilo of flour with some cereals and will forget it just in your kitchen so from eggs, some caterpillars will hatch and will eat immediately and will grow inside this flower or cereals and will moth appear after 12, 14, 20 days, depends upon the temperature. So that's a story about pests in your kitchen, pests in a supermarket. So be careful with pests, don't buy too much food uh, just in advance for one year ahead. So just uh, buy something relatively good for a certain period of time and be careful about your kitchen, about your food store, about your window and just close it or just make a mesh to prevent coming some pests and some tiny moths from outside or from outside from another neighbors and of course made sometimes collecting this moth inside your house or just Throw away just not unnecessary, some unnecessary food or just already just damaged food as well. So that's a story about this Mediterranean flower mouth from supermarket and good luck and best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. And watch my video, write comments down the, here, this video, write comments, subscribe to my channel by the way. I love subscribers, I love to exchange ideas with my subscribers, ask me questions. I love to ask, if you ask me questions and I will write your 
answers we can discuss as you should ask experts about insects, not just watching just stupid television. Some experts were on making their channels on YouTube now. Like me, I do my channel and I enjoy it very much. And I enjoy my viewers, my observers on channel. Welcome to my channel and good luck. Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. First day of spring, first March 2015. And good luck and see you soon on my channel. Looking forward, you look forward for my uploads of new videos. Good luck and subscribe as I said. Good luck.